Hello, welcome to the Treasure Fox. My name is Wendy. For anyone new visiting, I sell vintage and contemporary jewelry and accessories. So um, this is a jewelry haul from the last couple weeks. Um, everything I thrift here is pretty much uh, in Connecticut um, from different uh, local thrift stores, Goodwill, uh, consignment stores. Um, so I'll start with some of the, uh, a new place I went to. So my sister had a pickup from Facebook Marketplace and we were up in the Stratford area and I Googled beforehand to see what kind of uh, thrift stores might be in the area and there was a listing for a consignment store and so uh, it looked like it had some really good stuff and consignment stores definitely tend to be a little bit more expensive because you know they're selling for other people um, but she happened to be having 50% off jewelry sale so I definitely got uh, some nice pieces had they not been on sale I probably would have passed um, because it, you know it just would be a little bit too much to spend. But um, I will show you what I found. I got these uh, really cute Robert Rose earrings um, and I'll show you the back. Uh, so it's just the name uh, Robert with like a diamond and then Rose and their clip. Um, they're in really good condition. There is a little bit of wear right here on the um, resin or acrylic piece. So they're just big cats with these beads. Um, they're just really cute. Um, and I, yeah, I just was like, oh, these are so cute. I need to buy these. <laughs> um, then uh, I'm going to need help with two of the necklaces because I cannot figure out who the designer is. So I got this necklace. Let me flip it around so the tag shows better. So it is a designer named O and E. O E. <laughs> I've looked. Um, I haven't done extensive research, but I've looked and I can't figure out who this is. Um, so if anybody's familiar with this brand, please let me know in the comments. Um, it's really nice. It's these sort of silver uh, beads and then there's these gold end caps and then these uh a lot of bluish beads there's a black one there's sort of an aurora borealis um but really pretty necklace and i, I really like it and i'm no idea who this is and i always find it much easier uh to sell jewelry when there is a brand attached um also if you can list the brand's name <laughs> so anyway i'm just not quite sure who this is um but that was this necklace and then the other one i haven't figured out yet is this one um I haven't done a lot of research yet um, so I haven't quite figured out what the letters are. It was a little bit easier with O and E, but this one, um, the tag is either like, I don't know if that's upside down or if this is the correct way. So is it like a, it's like an S and a five, a G and a five, a C and a five, or else it goes this way and I don't know, it's a G. I'm just not really sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which way it goes. I'm not sure who this is. So if, if you're familiar with this brand too, let me know. I'll show it again close up here. Um, this tag, I'll just have to try different combinations. It's definitely like a G, a five, an S or a C. It's, I think it's one of those combinations, but it could be wrong. Uh, so it's just a really pretty Baroque pearl. Um, necklace and the one thing I didn't notice when I bought it is this ring here so I think obviously this was a replacement piece and so you know the lobster claps latches into that it's just it doesn't look correct it's too big it's worn the gold has worn away if it really was the original um, I feel like something's missing from the piece so I'm going to try and find a better um, hoop or clasp that this uh, will hook into. Um, but other than that, the necklace is in, in excellent condition. It's just that um, odd sort of clasp at the end. So I got that and just a few more pieces. I got these earrings and I love these. And I'll show you the back. They are Norma Jean. Let's see if I can get these going the right way. Oh, sorry, I got the upside down, Norma Jean. Um, and they're uh, just her name spelled out. Uh, starfish earrings, gold tone with these clear rhinestones. The problem with these is that they had so much verdigris on them. I'm literally like hand cleaning them and normally verdigris I can get off pretty easily but it mean they had the raised areas, it has the rhinestones. I ended up popping a rhinestone out. I think I may have lost another rhinestone. So it was just, it was a lot of work <laughs> to try and clean them. And then now I have to glue rhinestones back in. So I think, you know, in the future, I may have to like think twice if something has a lot of verdigris on it. Um, it just depends how hard it is to clean. Um, but I really like these a lot. I really thought they were pretty. Um, it was just more, more verdigris than I, uh, could clean very well. Um, 
Then I found this Coro Craft uh, gold tone brooch. Let me see if I have this going the correct way. So I think it goes this way. Uh, so Coro Craft tag there. Hope it's not upside down. Um, it's in excellent condition. And then uh, one more thing from this consignment store were these Givenchy earrings. And there's a little bit of wear to these. Um, I always will pick up Givenchy if I see it. They did actually have an insect Givenchy brooch that was kind of odd. And I actually did pass on that because I really didn't like it. Um, I try and just buy things I really love. And if I'm kind of hesitant, then I, not always, because I have bought things I've regretted. <laughs> but um, I did pass on the insect brooch. It probably was valuable, but I just, I didn't like it. Um, so it's just a vintage Givenchy clip earrings. And yeah, I just thought they were nice got those and then the last thing was on the way home we stopped at the Goodwill and I got these really nice new with tags Kendra Scott rose quartz earrings um, the uh, rack card has a slight wear on it but these are new I don't think they've ever been worn they've got the things on the back um, so we I've got three Goodwills near us. Um, two of them stopped selling jewelry and they both started again. Um, this one that I, I stop into every few weeks, uh, they uh, I can find some good stuff, but it's really hit or miss. There's usually a lot of junk. And then if you just hit it at the right time, you'll get like one really cool piece like I did there. Um, so I will move on to um, our local store. So we have this really cute uh, kind of ca cottage in town that's run by our local women's club, but they've been closed most of 2020 um, because of the pandemic. Um, they opened for like two days last year and then they opened again for two days like in the last couple of weeks. So I got these uh, Trafari earrings. They've got the clip backs and they are uh, orange and cream colored, um, sort of trapezoid shape but in excellent condition. They actually had uh, quite a bit of verdigris on the back, but those were easier to clean, <laughs> much easier to clean than those, those earrings. And then these, which are really unique. Um, I'm going to sell them on the rack card, but I took them off so you could see these a little bit better. So I will hold them up. So they are flower earrings. They're porcelain. So they were sold as like two pairs on a rack card and then these. And then the backs are just like a silver clip that seems to be glued in place. So it's a woman named Pam Beatty who was based in Naples, Florida. Um, she seemed to be designing in the late 1980s at her kitchen table. Um, they are hand sculpted from porcelain, kiln fired three times and then accented in 22 karat gold. Um, I cannot find any trace of her. I did uh, look for her online. I haven't found any of her stuff. So I don't know how long she was in business for, um, if she just sold locally or if she had stuff outside of the state of Florida. But I thought they were really pretty and the fact that they still had the card on them. I think somebody will really enjoy those. Okay, so just a few more items. We have, um, let's see, my favorite. I'm going to just drag this all into frame. Another thrift store I discovered maybe about five or six months ago, and I go like about every three weeks. It's become my sister's favorite thrift store. I thought I pulled this stuff into frame. I'm busy pulling it closer and I'm looking in the camera and I'm like, okay, there's nothing on screen. Okay, so well, I'll start with the charm bracelets. Um, so I have this charm bracelet, which I love. Um, and I won't be selling. I'm pretty good about not keeping stuff, but I love charm bracelets and this one's really unique. Eventually I will sell it, but for now I'm keeping it. So it is so cute. And I have found two of my favorite uh, charm bracelets at the store. So it's got crabs, boats, stars, turtles. It's silver tone with white enamel. Uh, it does have a little bit of wear, but it's just a really, uh, it's a really great piece. So I got that. And then this charm bracelet. Uh, see I gotta unknot it this one's just very lightweight it's contemporary can't seem to get this going the right way okay so stars anchor uh, kind of uh, there's a glass bead and there's like a faux pearl at the end um, yeah just I, I really like the sea theme as you can tell and then let's see we've got this necklace which was really unique I haven't been able to figure out who the designer is it's really lightweight it's a lightweight lightweight mesh it just slips over the head there's no clasp it is a coin as the tag there's no name on it or anything um, and it's a dark wood with um, and this is all kind of a matte gold uh, Buddha pendant but it's very contemporary um, I just thought it was a nice piece 
And so we got that. Let's see. And then did about three more items. This necklace, which um, I think this may have been the first Ann Taylor piece I've picked up. Um, I was very impressed with the quality. It's really um, quite well made. It's a pretty weighty uh, piece, so substantial. And then it's got these acrylic, they don't appear to be glass. It's like a smoky topaz uh, color. They may not be showing up as well on the red background. Um, hook closure, but in excellent condition and just a really nice piece. Statement necklace. Let's see. I'm trying to make that look a little bit better on camera. <laughs> it's kind of looking a little bit lopsided, but you get the idea. So, um, and this is the Ann Taylor tag. I, you know, I don't recognize it because I don't see a lot of Ann Taylor, but in case um, you're not familiar, that's the Ann Taylor logo. Um, and then two more items uh, this coach uh, sunglass case. Um, it's in really good condition. There's a small little cut there into the fabric, but other than that, you know, the outside, the clamshell is in excellent condition. No sign of wear, just that little bit there. And I definitely pick up sunglass cases when I see them, designer ones, um, you know, about 15 to 20 or so uh, for most of them. It kind of depends on the designer, but, uh, you know, they're great and they're easy sell, but somebody's always, you know, they'll lose their uh, case and looking for a replacement. And then the last piece I'm gonna show you, it's my favorite, and I'm gonna to have to raise the camera. Let's see. I got this at the Goodwill this past weekend. This is just, it's fabulous. It's my favorite piece I have found in the last few weeks. Let's see if I can get this all in. So it is this, and I'm sorry my voice is now really getting far away from the, let's see, the audio because I've raised the camera. So. I'll try and show it to you this way. So it's got these glass beaded handles, hand knotted in between. It's like a leather cord. It has a, um, I haven't tested this. I don't know if it's Bakelite, if it's acrylic, what the plastic is. And then it has kind of a silk, grow grain, moray. Um, I always forget the name of this fabric. Interior, and it's like in excellent condition. It doesn't even show anywhere. And then, um, so this is the whole, you kind of, it's really long, so it's kind of hard to show on screen, but it's just, it's really fabulous. It's so beautiful. Um, I haven't even been able to find another one like it. I haven't done a ton of research. There's no designer name on it or anything. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to ask for it. Um, but I just, it's, it's fabulous. It's not something you could wear like every day. It's not practical. Like I feel like it could you know, get damaged easily. It's kind of one of those things you just, I don't think the bag itself, it's more the handles I'm worried about um, because they just seem more delicate with the glass beads, but it's just such a unique piece. And I'm um, just happy that I, that that was waiting for me at the Goodwill this time. <laughs> so anyway, that is everything I have found in uh, the last couple weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're enjoying the channel, please hit like, subscribe, comment below. Um, I also have the buy me a coffee feature. That's another way to support the channel. Uh, that's in the description as well. Uh, so thank you so much and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.